The matter has even reached the Supreme Court as the Muslim side wants the top court to halt all proceedings as it, they claim, contravenes the provisions of the Places of Worship Act 1991. But a bench led by Justice Chandrachud and Justice Narasimha has refused to issue a stay. Instead, the bench has ordered the local authorities to secure the purported shivling. The Hindu side will be heard on Thursday, May 19 next. In the interim viewers, the Hindu side is pointing to what it believes is ample supporting evidence to claim that a shivling undeniably exists at the site as Lord Shiva's most devout follower and steed, Nandi the Bull, directly overlooks onto the Vazu tank, which is a sure shot indication that the shivling or a statue of Lord Shiva stood there. The pictures accessed by Times Now certainly bear this out. If one were to purely go by custom, tradition, and of course, mythology. Listen to this report filed by Priya Behar. Here is an aerial view that will put into perspective for our viewers what is located where. This part you see is the Kashi Vishwanath temple as it exists right now. This portion here is the statue of Nandi that has been now mentioned multiple times. This particular Nandi, if, to, if I could zoom in on that, it, there is a bar, there are bars in front of it and there is a wall. Remember, this is the wall that the Hindu side in the latest petition today wants demolished because they want more proofs to come out. What happened yesterday? Look at the positioning. Right in front of this uh, Nandi statue is the Vazu Khana. This is where the ablutions are performed. Times now also got our viewers exclusive images of that particular Vazu Khana inside where ablutions are performed. And here Rahul is where the shivling was found or so the Hindu side claims that they have spotted a shivling and is being contested by the other side as being just a disused, dysfunctional fountain. When you talk of tradition, when you talk of convention, why is this particular positioning important? Because as per Hindu tradition, whenever there is a Nandi bull, it needs to be facing the shivling and because this direction directly corresponds with that tradition and convention, the Hindu side is saying that what we saw must be, should be a shivling.